Alright, see who goes first. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Let the record show, it's his phone and he touched it that time. <laughs> it's not just my phone that likes me. Alright. So, I would like to be on the play. Alright. Uh, this is... Let me make sure. This is keepable. Okay. This okay. Alright. So, I will start off with... I don't think you're ready for this. I don't blame you. An ancient spring. Oh, it comes in tapped. Okay, so it comes in tapped. It can make blue, or I can sack it to make white, black. Oh. So, it makes a color, or it makes its allies. And pass turn. Yeah, that's how that works. I've got an awkward card in my hand, but I'll pretend it's okay. This is the hand, real quick. So now you know what I'm doing. He doesn't yet, but he's gonna find out real soon. Or he's gonna beat me. That's actually... <laughs> that, that could happen too. Alright. Let's see. Oh, but I like all of these. Which may not quite be what you want to hear. On this time... May I get the door now? Yeah. Okay. I'll put in Irrigation Ditch. Same thing, except it's white and it's allies. So this is the Bant one. Esper and Bant right now. Right. And then I'll pass the turn. I don't actually know what their uh, term in the community is, but I'll call them Sacklands. I have an Esper and a Bant Sackland. Fetch? Okay. First blood. Yes. All right. Uh, okay. Watch this be a problem. All right. Way down on the bayou. Here we go. Easy enough. Boink. So I've told this, well, I'll wait till you're done with your turn first. Death right. That's good. Alright, resolves. Hmm. This episode brought to you, not actually, by Milwaukee's Best Ice. This isn't even my favorite one. I'm one of those weird people, I actually prefer the taste of the light. I'm sorry, I'll let you focus. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's see. So this hand is really shaping up. Uh, we'll play the Grixis one. Mm -hmm. And then... We will pass the turn. Alright, now I could have just played a little... Well, you see what's in the hand. I probably didn't have to do that, actually. Show me what you got. Show me a glimpse. Glimpse. Glimpse results. And this is the reason that you don't want to play as conservatively as I just did. Birchlore. Birchlore results. I'll let you know when to stop. Alright. Uh, okay, and this is for the Birch Lord? Yeah. Okay. Visionary. Vision is scary. Uh, results. And then, yeah, another one. Alright, so no mana floating. Ah, okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. No. Yeah. But that's still too yeah, much. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. You, 
It's a weird... We have a bunch of different states we have to keep track of. Tapped and untapped, as well as ability used and not used. So, I think this is fine. Alright. Good. Ah. Uh. yet. Resolves. Part of what makes it easier, to be honest, is if he taps all three of them right now, he doesn't have enough mana for a natural order. So I, I'm a little bit less concerned because of that. And he also doesn't have a nettle sentinel. So I think it's fine here. So three. Okay, but there's a ranger, so two in the pool. Draw, yeah. We're gonna draw either way. <laughs> it's play, not cast. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. It has to actually enter the battlefield. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you have two in the pool. One. Alright, one in the pool. Feel free to draw. Now we're in trouble. Because I can do some maths here, and I, I can put three plus one together. Four. Yes. What would you like to sacrifice? Okay. Press check. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the crater hoof, seven, plus it, it's a five, five. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at taking 12 here. I do. 12. But 12 is not 20. I, I'm gonna regret it. Let me read natural order, please, if that's all right. Just to make if you can read it. <laughs> oh yeah, the signature. <laughs> let me let me show this one off real quick. Shoutouts to you. Is that on the sleeve or on the card? That is on the card. Uh, you're you're brilliant. You're brilliant. Therese Nielsen, you are wonderful. And uh, the glare makes that a little hard to see. Okay. Yeah, this this doesn't work the way I think it does. Search your library for a green creature card oh, yeah, and put yeah. it onto the battlefield. There's a particular word I was looking library. for on there, but that word is not featured. It is needed to make absolutely sure. I didn't think it was, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Alright, go get it. I'm about to take 12. Let me just <laughs> beat this down. Put me to 8. Alright. Crater of time. Where, Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh! Oh my god! Being intact. <laughs> combo! Combo! Okay. So, Crater Hoof is a thing. It has indeed attacked. Yeah, well, we're. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> You're right. We're getting there. We have to get there first. <laughs> yeah, I've already. <laughs> I've, we've already fast forwarded this game just a bit. Alright. So, I did not need to take that risk. I'm not entirely sure why I did, but I did, so I'm at 8. Yep. Let's turn? Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh huh. It's not actually going to matter which one I do here, but. Theoretically, this is the best one. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to sacrifice all three of these, mm -hmm. which means we'll be making blue-red, blue-green, black-white. Long story short, I'm going to make the colors of mana that I need to play 
uh, deny reality. Cascade, return target permanent to its owner's hand. So I have to pick a target. Uh, spoiler alert, for this, it doesn't actually matter what I pick, but I'm, I'm just going to declare... Uh, well, you have to cascade first. Well, I, in order to put it on the stack, I have to pick a target. I have to make it a legal spell to cast. Uh, so I'm just going to pick the forest. But now I'll cascade. Okay. Now. So we're going to cascade into... Next card. Oh, well. Restore balance. Now, how many cards do you have in your hand? Six. Six? Okay, so we're not going to do any discarding. You and I both have six. Uh, but you're gonna, we're going to sacrifice creatures until we have equal to the player with the lowest. So I have zero creatures, so sack all your creatures. Then we'll do the same thing for lands. And, uh, yeah, now Deny Reality is going to look around awkwardly. No, because then I would have had discard. All right. Um. If I'd use, if I bounce the land to my hand, you ended up using two carrion ranger abilities, so you should have two buyers for each carrion ranger. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so I, I, I know two of your cards. Uh, fair enough. Oh. Okay. Okay. We'll go back and do it. Yeah. Go back and do it. Okay, the, yeah, I see what you're saying. You're saying it's not once on your turn, it's once per turn. Yeah, it is. So we can bounce the curate, we can bounce once the each turn. Okay, so go for it. You can use that to bounce Let's the... Alright, we're, we're rewinding we just to show everybody how this is supposed to work. So, and Kyrian Ranger doesn't care go. whose turn it is, it's just once per turn. So it does care, but it doesn't require that it be yours. So he's going to use its ability to untap an elf and return a forest to hand. So now, Three of his seven cards in hand are, well, one forest and two bios. I know those cards for a fact. So now we stack all the creatures on the board. <laughs> and now you'll need to discard a card. I swear, if you discard that same forest, we're right back where we were. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> just for the, just meme on me. Okay. Okay, and of course it's the it's the force. Can they see that? They can see that. <laughs> Deny reality once again stares around and then has to go on. Okay, so that was my turn. Now it's your turn. Unfortunately, that means that I know that he has. Okay, well, there's another one. <laughs> I know that means he has a game. If he draws into creatures, which look he just glimpses of nature for five million, so. Yeah, and we're, we're green sensing the thing for Triad know. Arbor. What's up? I'm assuming it resolves. I've not looked at. I'm gonna I'm gonna name. read its text. There's a card in my hand that cares about a specific word in the text. No, it resolves. Okay. So yeah, yeah, go shuffle. Yeah. It's a card I'm almost certainly gonna side out after this, but it's probably fine to have in the main board. Yeah. I can't really say what the word is it cares about without giving it away, unfortunately. Right. So I'll draw? Yeah, that'll be my turn. Alright. I will play Crystal Vein, which either taps for colorless mana or Sactus make two. Yeah. Cool. Ah, uh, you got it. And then that's my entire turn. Look what I did today. My, uh, roaming character. My Caesar over here. He has a toga on, so I'm gonna call him Caesar. Sentinel's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is getting out of hand real quick. Go ahead. All right, I'm at seven. That's not what I need to see. All right, pass turn. Man, if you were anything else. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, you too. Alright. I'll take Four. that one more. Four. Ooh. Okay. That's game. You got me. We were doing I was doing a playtest game and couldn't top deck land. Well, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's a boomerang deck. 
All right, my friend. So I would once again like to be on the play. Okay. I regret everything. Yes. Okay. One card sideboard. And better hand, admittedly. Much better hand. We're going to try it. What say you? The only thing making me half ask question is that I'm on the draw, but I don't... I don't really think I can. Ah, oh, why the heck not? Let's go. Alright. Uh, so I'll play Grixis Land. Pass it. One swap. Sure. Um, I mean, honestly, okay, if I hadn't heard you say that you were on the draw, and so it would be iffy except you're on the draw, I probably would not do this play, so I won't do it now. Go for it. Okay. Knowing that inf that extra little information, it's tempting to counter that, but you wouldn't have said that in actual tournament, so I wouldn't have done. I would have had to make a really hard read for no reason there. At a time when I don't need to. We're good now. There we go. Okay. Sometimes it makes sense if you get a hard read to try to force a will to turn one play and try to mana screw the Elves player, but we're not there. Uh, this is Nia Land, and then pass turn. All of the Dryad Arbors. Hmm. Now, I, this is playtest Ariel. They make you do this now. I wow. seriously, they make you do that. Yeah, it, it's land and a creature. You could do it either way. I would say I don't care, but. For some people, the From the Vault art is close enough to an actual forest. I'm a little biased because I own one, and I yeah. see it all the time, so I've gotten used to it. So I, I don't know, maybe it would have tricked me at some point if I had not owned it. Gruel? Yep. Okay, there we go. That's fine, okay. Draw your card. Go ahead. Okay, fair enough. Alright, once again, Naya Land. Mm -hmm. Pastor. And one card in hand. Heritage Druid. Um, that's a pain, but I I can live with that. Okay, we're good. Heritage resolves. Druid resolves. Heritage Druid resolves. We got there. Nice. <laughs> Fair enough, <laughs> I suppose. Tells me that there's not a glimpse in hand, obviously. I mean, I knew that anyway, but... Yeah. Okay. There's not a natural order either, because otherwise we get a natural order there. Or we're waiting for a big enough turn that we can just lethal me. We can just one-shot me.
That could be it. I mean, I've seen Ross Merriam go from zero creatures on board to a crater hoof for 19 in this exact same turn, so anything is possible. Three. Ah. Mm -hmm. Seven. Three, four, five, six. Nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. They're creatures. I Nine see. mana. Yes. Green zone for six. Oh, for six? Okay, so we've got a sideboard card. Because I know Creator Hoof and Progenitus are not six mana. Uh, we're obviously not going to let that abide. Yeah. We have a Force of Will pitching Cathari... Cathari Remnant. Okay, so I'm at 19. So, if it was for six, then you have two mana left. Two mana. Yeah. Green and six. X. So what else do you have for me? Wait a minute. Rurok Thor might be six mana. I forgot its mana cost. Right, right. Uh, green sun two. Okay, two. Oh, sh I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble here. I'm in a lot of trouble. I know what that's getting. It resolves. Yeah, yeah, we'll shuffle in. <laughs> I I have a sneaking suspicion I know what that's getting. It's actually a fucked up. <gasps> oh, it's not what I thought it was. Yeah, I just realized I fucked up. No, no, okay. In there. Just to make sure, it was supposed to be Gattic right? Okay. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. Yeah, so now that you know what I'm doing, it, fair enough in game one when it's a little odd what I'm doing, but now that you know... Yeah, Gaddock Teague is actually broken in this. Gaddock Teague is super strong. Yeah. Ah, might as well. Go ahead. Okay. I would like to not actually have the mana for what I'm wanting to... Well, I mean, I kind of have the mana for what I, what I want. I have the mana, but not in the way that I want. Mm -hmm. So, in order to make this work, I have to play you. And that puts me a bit further behind than I would like. But I, I think that's what we want to do. Well, oh, wait a minute. Okay. It's fine. When you have both of these, I think I have enough time. I can get away with it. So we're going to actually... Unfortunately, it means I have to burn my land draw. But wait a minute. We still... we. Oh my goodness, we can do everything we want here, actually. We have potential for six mana on board. Blue... Alright, white, blue... Insert red, green in their answer. Okay, so we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. All right. Green, white, red, blue. Okay, we're fine. We're gonna play Archaeological Dig. How many cards do you have in hand? Four. Okay, so not for long. Blue, red, red, white. 
Okay, so red's going to be floating after this. We're going to cast an Ardent Plea. Alright, Exalted. It's an enchantment that gives Exalted, and it cascades. Okay. We are going to... There's only one card I can cascade into here, and we're actually not going to cast it. So, this is an exercise in futility, but we're still going to do it, because technically we have to. I'm hearing is Family it Guy out there. Balance? It's Restore Balance, and we're not going to cast it. Okay. All right. So there's Restore Balance, we're not going to cast it, they all go on the bottom in a random order. Now, but... Yeah, if you cast it, you lose the enchantment. Well, no, because this is on the stack, oh. actually. Oh, yeah, but that's right. there is a reason. It's a negligible reason, but you'll see in just a second why. There, There is actually a reason I'm doing this. Okay. Then, there's remember, there's red floating. We're going to sack Archaeological Dig for green. And we're also going to sack Tender Fall. Now, we're going to use four mana on a Bloodbraid Elf. And this time, we are going to Cascade. So, this we're going to hit Shardless Agent, which is going to Cascade into... Spoiler alert, there's only one thing it can Cascade into. By the way, this is on the bottom now, but whatever. Alright, we're going to find a Restore Balance. And now we're going to do it. You would think that Restore Balance, would, this next Restore Balance, would get rid of Ardent Plea, but Restore Balance actually doesn't care about enchantments, mm. weirdly enough. So what it does care about, however, is lands, creatures, and cards. And the reason I did this with Ardent Plea first is now I have one less card in hand. So I have two cards, you have four, you're going to discard two instead of one, is the reason why I did it that way. Now, Restore Balance does, it th does its thing. I have no creatures, because these are still on the stack, you know. So, they're, they're actually hovering above the board for a moment. Bloodbraid into Shardless into Restore <laughs> is how that went. Um, bing, 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 bing. And then I have no lands, so there goes the guy's cradle too. Yeah. And then I have two cards, so then you discard two. And... So once we do all of that, uh, then if you want to cut, you can. Bloodbraid Elf is going to swing for four, because there's an instance of Exalted. Yeah. And I'll pass the turn. So that's what this stupid deck does. Yeah, there they go. Alright, so you're up. Although if he's discarding a Dryad Arbor, to me that says he has more lands. And if I may, what was the other card you discarded? Crater Huff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. Right now. Game three. Mm. I'm sorry, dude. If it had just been the Blood Braid, then there'd be a little bit more time. There we go. All right. So now you know what the deck does. Sideboard has been changed accordingly. Unfortunately, I don't have much for this match. I actually considered having a one of Tabernacle at Pendril Vale, the Tabernacle. Uh, it would be in the main board. It has the weakness of not being able to sacrifice it, which means that when you go off with Restore Balance, you'll have at least one land. Now, granted, it's Tabernacle, so it's a land that will perpetually be on one of their creatures, but it's not ideal. So maybe in the sideboard, I don't know. But for this match, I only really have one card. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what does this one make? Um... This could go really poorly. I'm going to pretend that this is okay. So we have everything we need. Actually, we're going to see this deck do an interesting role. Perform an interesting role. So we have you, which makes these colors, and that's nice. And then these, uh, which are not... Uh, <laughs> We have this, we have this, we have this, we're secure on that side, and then, I trust you, and then we have you, if we can get there. It's fine if we can keep it. But for right now, we're going to say we can keep it. Alright, 
And by the way, zero reserve list cards in this deck. So, yeah, if you're wanting to get into the format, I can't say that this deck is cheap, but it's not terribly expensive. Certainly not by legacy standards. Alright. Let's see what six and a half grants you. Man, that is a beautiful sound. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the sound of rain. We have rain all of this week, today and for at least the next four days. Man, I don't, I love rain. What's the term, pluviophile, I think? Someone who loves rain? So you'll be on the play, I take it. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Cat got on there. And there. And there. If it at all looks fine, you have a scry. I, I did see what it was, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're, well, but to start off the game, oh. I have a Chancellor of the Annex, and you know what this does, right? First spell I cast is countered? Well, four spiked. So you, it, okay. it's not necessarily countered, you just have to pay an additional one. So I'll, I'll keep this on the field just to show the rule is there until we actually use it. Yeah, if it were just the first spell you cast is countered, Oh wow, that would be uh, that would be banned in, in Legacy. So I have to pay one. one. Yes, it just sort of like okay. it auto manatize or force spikes your first spell. Okay. So Death Rite Shaman costs two, and then it costs one. There we go. go okay. Okay, so I think we're fine now. I think. We're going to play an Irrigation Ditch. So this is the banned one. And then... Pastor. Alright, so we're, we're going to cast whatever we were going to cast. Now we're at 18. Double fetch. After the first one you cast. The first one will get the force spike on. So you can cast your Death Rite Shaman for two, and then this thing won't matter anymore. Or your Green Sun, X equals zero, but it's actually, you know, we're paying an extra one. Green one X. Okay, so now this is back in the hand. I mean, it was in the hand anyway. Yeah. Yeah. At its best, that card just feels like Time Walk. Crystal Vein. This either makes one or it makes two if I sack it, but they're colorless. Mm. So I'm still stuck with uh, blue green right now if I sack. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Sylvan Library. I. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Commandeer. Pitching. I have to pitch two blue cards. Pitching Ardent Plea and Cathari Remnant. So what this does is I get to take control of it. Yeah. Alright. So there's the sideboard card. The sideboard card. Alright. Use its ability. Yep. Coming back.
back. Heritage Trigger. All right. Go ahead. All right. Upkeep. One, two, three. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. Three. And I have four. About to have five, four. Okay, so we'll just do you. Actually, we're probably going to keep them in exactly the same order, to be honest. Well, we'll, we'll switch these two up. Not that it matters. Okay. Alright, sack both of these. Uh, Shardless Agent. There's only one thing to cascade into here. Oh, sorry. Force of Habit. Whee! I should turn him this way. Cards to you hand. I should have four, and you said you have three, so I'll have to get rid of one. And I know what it's going to be. Ooh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Alright, so we're good on that. Restore balance. Does its thing. You're an enchantment, so you get off without having to worry. But... I still haven't played a land yet. So... I will. Boink. I'll play a crystal vein and pass the turn. Oh, make sure these go. Yep, there we go. Don't turn them upside down, Jay. Yeah. And he's back. Go ahead. Alright, we'll go to the top three. <clears throat> now I'll turn it back around the way I'm used to doing it. Alright, hand. Not hand. Same number of cards, so we're just making sure here. I like all of these. <laughs> we're going to take four and add two to my hand and put you back on top. I would like to go to combat. Yeah, we know the drill. We know how that part goes. Right, I will play an Irrigation Ditch, the Bant one, again. And I'll pass the turn. I'll take one. Go ahead. One, two, three. Um, alas. Right. Just the one. Combat. Play another crystal vein. Uh, sack the Irrigation Ditch. Do not sack the Crystal Vein. I have a Shardless Agent. Now, I have to go through the motions, but I'm actually not going to cast the Restore Balance. So, here we go. Alright, so there's, there's Restore Balance, but I'm not casting it. So I just have another Shardless Agent now. <laughs> you can cut. Yeah, fair enough. And then I'll pass the turn to you. Yeah, I must cascade. I do not have to cast the card. Oddly enough. Um, you know that's fine. 
Okay. Go ahead. It does get him messier. Mm. Yeah. Two yeah. fetches on the body. It does give him an extra land, potentially. I think we're okay here. Okay. Sylvan Library does its thing again. Oh, One, the wrong two, to my hand. three. Well, this one's easy. Gonna just get one and put an Ancient Spring into play. Gee, I wonder what I top decked. Two? Well, two times two. Two creatures. Block bounce. Block bounce? Okay, fair enough. I mean, that's, that's Elves for you. And then I will pass the turn. And this is why there's not a Spore Frog deck in Legacy now. There are plenty of reasons why there's not a Spore Frog deck in Legacy. Kami of False Hope. I never noticed that Shardless Agent, its right eye or left. Actually, you're right if you're watching on camera. Oh, well, I can't quite tell if that's an eye or a mask. That's right. You know the drill? Let's see, what's the new one? Not anything great. Just a second, I'll consult the hand. Hmm, that's not quite where I want to be. We'll do this, just to be on the safe side. All right, you're gonna fog one of them, I'm assuming. Ooh, okay. That tells me something. Right? Pastor? I'm sorry, my friend. I can't abide that. Takes all land. Would you Just prefer the top one? Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um. The Steve Argyle signings. There we go. This would have been quite the glimpse turn. Uh, three mana? Yes. Ah, uh, uh oh. Excellent land. Alright. Take the other irrigation ditch because they're the same, might as well. quite have the man I need. Okay, what's he getting? Hit resolve. I'm afraid so. I'm one man away. Ah, uh, alas. Okay, show me Rurikthar. Yep, there you are. You are six mana indeed. When you went for six, I wasn't quite remembering what Rurikthar's was. And I have seen Elves players fake people out by going with a higher X on the Greensand Zenith 
and getting something lower so they could trick their opponent. X equals 10. Oh, he's getting progenitus. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a pain, I think. We'll see what comes off this Sylvan library. Go ahead. Alright. Come on, deck. Yep. Untap first. Okay. I have, in order to survive this, I have to take these two cards. Fashion values of which we, on which we used to rely. I'm sorry, that's... Uh, okay. So, here's the decision, everybody. So this card doesn't matter, so we can just ignore this one. These two, I think I actually have to take both given the contents of my hand. Because I need you to play you. Because this is sometimes an unfortunately useless card. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to do it. We're going to take four, put you back and draw two. Mm -hmm. We'll add two to hand. We'll draw two. And technically, yeah. you're drawing all three. Yeah, but that's you're true. Putting yeah. one back. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> very good. Alright, so what we're going to do is Archaeological Dig. This is the one that's colorless, or if I sack it, it makes one mana of any color. This is sack for two of no color. So that we can go blue, black, white. And then this next part depends. I think it's probably right. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. Three. You have three cards and you don't have a Kyrian Ranger on on the field to return one to hand. So if I sack all of mine, I can get rid of all of your lands and hopefully I can lock you out of the game. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. It do oh Jay, you idiot. You idiot. You idiot. First, Vigilance Reach. I'm gonna swing. Kill one. Yeah, you're gonna kill one. <laughs> you know how this works. I just, I need to get that damage in. Alright, Cathari Remnant. Take six. No, that's a creature. Anymore. Oh, it's a creature. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm about to take six, yeah. however. So, we're gonna put me at two. Well, actually, this is important. What am I gonna cascade into? Well, it, it's either Ardent Plea or Shardless Agent or it's Restore Balance. Alright, what's it gonna be? If it's Ardent Plea, I lose! You take six. Uh, well, I don't have to cast it. Yeah, But if, if you I, cast it, you take six. If I cast it, I take six. If I don't cast it, then... Wait, 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 wait. Let me see how Cascade works. Okay, this is, this is odd. So, the question, I don't know, if I don't cast it, if I elect not to cast it, I don't think I get to put the Cascade trigger on the stack. That, that doesn't seem to make sense to me intuitively. So, when you play the spell, when you cast the spell, remove cards from the top, okay. Yeah, when it so says when you play, I have to cast it. To it. I'm pretty certain, based on my reading of this, this is older text back when they said when you play, but I'm assuming that means cast in this case. So... If that's the case, then I... Hmm. I, I have to not cast the Ardent Plea here. So what that means is that we're just going to shuffle it up. And Cathari Remnant, you're on blocking duty. Oh, but you know what? I lose anyway. Because the only no mana that I have I have left is I have white mana because I had to use blue here, mm. black here, white, two colorless. I have white, two colorless, but they're only hanging out until the end of turn. They're gonna go away. You, on the other hand, are not. Good games. Ardent plea. Why? Why? 
Let's give you that back. Okay, so the one card that I cited in was, of course, Commandeer. It goes in for Misdirection. Misdirection does literally nothing. Commandeer lets me steal a natural order or something if I need to. Or in this case, a Sylvan Library, which was an all-star, but nevertheless, you know, there we go. Uh, so, <laughs> that's how this deck works. We go into Restore Balance. Um, I made some pretty interesting decisions when building the deck that ended up hurting me. Not by too much, but they did hurt me nonetheless. Crystal Vein needs to be even Stronghold. It's the exact same thing except instead of colorless and two colorless, it makes black and two black. And that color may matter every now and then, so that's an easy one to fix. Misdirection is in the main board because it can hit counter spells more readily. Uh, one of the ways this deck can lose is if you go into Restore Balance and then just go Force of Will. Well, you can misdirect Force of Will to target Misdirection. So, you know, that's, that's why that's there. And occasionally it matters for redirecting burn spells and yada yada yada. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's how I did this deck. That's, uh, Chancellor of the Annex. Seems pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. And, um, yeah. There we go. So, Sylvan Library makes a lot of sense here. Helps you to dig for more, especially if I wipe your board. Rurikthar, Gaddic Teague, which as we discussed when we were talking about sideboards, doesn't hit very much in the deck, but it, it hits a, a few, and it can it can shut me down potentially. Importantly, it hits Force of Will. That's a big one. Alright, 